Hello guys, my name is Biscuit and welcome back on Bisflix. Basically, happy October to everyone. If you don't know this, I'm quite hyped on October, Halloween, everything related. I actually do 48 hour streams on my Twitch channel with two different costumes every weekend. I don't know which weekend you will see this movie reaction, but I did promise uh, to my community that even if I hate horror movies with a passion that doesn't, you know, begin to explain how big the passion Passion is I will try to post at least one horror movie every weekend to celebrate the month of you know spookiness and uh, let this serve as a disclaimer I might be a little bit loud I hate horror movies I'm not doing very well with them so jump scares or screams or stuff like this might and probably will happen so maybe you want to turn down your volume if you like want to preserve your hearing um, but thank you again for being here thank you so much for checking the channel it does mean a lot to me if you want to see the full length reaction there is a patreon as well we have some water for today got my headset and i feel like we are quite ready to go i didn't tell you what we are reacting to <laughs> professional but we are checking out the others and i know that this is together with uh, nicole kidman yep initially i wanted to do a quiet place but i was kind of talked out of it on patreon on a poll that i put there so the community there wanted me to switch the quiet place with the others and here it is um again thank you my patreons for supporting the channel and i feel like we're ready to go so let's go all right jersey girl don't start hello well we are starting in force oh she had a nightmare I did not see what year this movie was uh, released or filmed, but the way it's filmed gives a very old um, touch to it. Yes. Good morning, ma'am. We've come about the... Oh, yes, of course. I'm Bertha Mills, ma'am. What's the matter? Has the cat got your tongue? She's shy. She can't talk, ma'am. Oh. Uh, you could sleep in the shed around the back. I mean, As you can see, the housework has been rather neglected since the service. This is a big house. Can you not give them like a room or something? Very hard working. I don't know. They they make me sus suspicious. I have breakfast at eight. The master man. Yeah, where is the husband though? From tomorrow onwards, I will be leaving a set of keys in your charge. I mean, that's quite an interesting role. That's why you will not find a telephone, a radio, or anything else that makes a racket. Or one of my children playing hide and seek. What do you mean, ma'am? Perhaps I should introduce you to the children. I mean, that's what they said. This is the big, 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 chunky house, and she makes the men sleep in the shed. You'll find tools in the shed. Yes, ma'am. And the, the two women in the... Oh, in the oh. attic. With so many rooms. Lights go off, candles go on. Girls, I bet I bet that you're going to get sacrificed. I'm telling you Whatever you do, don't open the curtains. What the hell are they vampires or something? I'm still trying to figure out what kind of horror this is. What sweet little children. What do you say? Dinner is served. What pretty names. Are you going to be our new nanny? Lydia, go to the kitchen and close every shutter. I mean, no explanation. The doctors were never able to find a cure. Okay, yeah. finally. Otherwise, in a matter of minutes, they would break out in sores and blisters and... Both of them. It tastes funny. I liked it better before. Before? That's because before somebody else made it. Are you going to leave us too? Of course not. Should I leave you? Something is wrong with these kids. I can already smell it. Be quiet. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Be quiet. Mrs. Mills, would you come outside a moment? I'd like a word with you. I want to see all of this obsession about closing and opening doors. It's an advertisement for servants. Since it was never published, would you mind explaining to me what you're doing here? Oh, I understand. This may come as a surprise to you, ma'am, but we, in fact, used to work here. But it changes everything. I'm so suspicious of this movie. <laughs> Rather difficult, to say the least. Doesn't give a lot of information. I almost say unbearable. 
think so, ma'am. My children sometimes have strange ideas. That you lost your mind and you were mad. It did happen. Okay, we're like 15 minutes in. The characters have been introduced. Rejoiced and showed themselves willing to die for Christ. When he saw this, the Roman governor was filled with rage and ordered... He's so cute. Inside I would have believed in him, but I wouldn't have told the Romans that. Survival instinct right there. Two Nicholas. I Nicholas see. is such a sweet kid. Please don't transform him into a demon or something. That's where children go who tell lies, but they don't just go there for a few days. Oh no. No, they're damned. I don't know if you want to like teach your kids this kind of stuff. Has your sister been telling you one of her stories? I haven't told him anything. Well, if you see a ghost, you say hello and you continue on studying. And come with me to the music. You say goodbye and hide. All right, Anne. These kids are creeping me out. Hard. Mommy can't be with you all the time. You must learn to be on your own. Where's your rose? Because sh with all your might and say, and our father, and then your fear will go away. It won't. Yes, yes, it will. Honestly, she's like raising them so Christiany, right? The house and the family. We made up of parents, children, and their grandparents. We must be obedient and kind. And kind towards other okay. As long as we don't have jump scare and possession, we're fine. No, no, I think I finished here, ma'am. If you'll excuse me, I think I'll go and see if Mr. Tuttle needs a hand. She doesn't want to talk about Lydia being mute. I don't know, this did give me scam artist's vibe or something like that. Like something's wrong with them. I don't know. Nicholas. Sounds like wailing. Nicholas. What's the matter? Why were you crying? I wasn't crying, I was reading. Close the door, close the door. Um. There are so many mysteries I want to like... Yeah, mommy. Are you alright? Yes. Who's Victor? The ghost. The boy that was here a moment ago. They must have gone upstairs. They're viewing the house. That'll do, Anne. That's enough. How a boy can get in and out of this room if it's locked? Do you think that I would overlook such a thing and endanger the life of my own daughter? Uh, yeah, you have goals. Oh, really? Who's going to tell mommy? You? Or perhaps you? She can't talk. <laughs> this uh, end girl is a little bit cruel. <laughs> cruel, I told you. I don't believe you saw that boy. Believe what you like. You'll soon be begging us to play with you. Oh, she's, she's, she's gonna play with a ghost boy now. Okay. Alright. Victor, come out from behind that gun so my stupid brother can see you. I heard the bang bang. Um, I'm going to tell mommy about you. <laughs> I'm not feeling very comfortable. She was hiding in me and I told her to be quiet. I am fed up with you. I didn't do anything. Therefore, the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden. All of this kind of tension moment make me feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> I read the other day that limbo is only for children who haven't been baptized. And I have. That's a smart ki kid. <laughs> I don't know how much money you'll have to pay me to actually even live in a house like that. Working on Nicholas. I prefer to have her where I can see her, but I can't embroider in such poor light. Then don't embroider. Fog doesn't exactly help. It's never lasted this long before. Sell the house and move. 
Would you kindly tell her it's not necessary to kick up quite such a rumpus just to do a little cleaning? I couldn't bear to get another migraine attack. I'll tell her. Thank you. Um, this lady is like a very interesting boss to have. I don't know. I, I don't know if I would love working for such a person. Okay, guys, in horror movies, you do not look into the mirrors. And I cannot stop looking in the mirrors because I have no self esteem. And I like torturing myself. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. I was I was getting ready for a jump scare. This child has a bright future into the horror movies. Heaven the second time and said, By myself I have sworn, save the Lord. Shh. I think the ghosts in the house don't appreciate reading the Bible out loud. I don't know. And tell me who's making that noise. Well, definitely not Jesus. I can't tell you, Mommy. And you punished me. Now I don't know what to say. And I want the truth. There, in that junk room. <laughs> I mean, the fact that the kids have a light allergy is just setting up this whole house in a dark lightning and creating so much more tension. Mummy, you're letting the light in. Um, and the, this is the, the, the possessed room. With all of the possessed items. <laughs> I have to keep my hands up. Oh, I hear whispers. <laughs> but I did hear something too. <gasps> Not mirrors. Holy shit, the door is open. Mom, stay calm, please. I will not stay calm. What do these numbers stand for? That's the number of times I've seen them. No, Anne, don't lie to me. Honestly, Mummy. And she asked me things. Victor told me she's a witch. Her breath smells. Like a demon. Yes, ma'am. You can both search the right side, and I'll take the left. Grab some salt, some holy water, and bring the priest in the house. More effective than a freaking gun. <clears throat> Don't be stupid, I've already told you. I think that one on the far left was Mr. Trottle. And I don't believe that Noah got all those animals into one boat. Or the Holy Spirit is a dove. Poo on our windows. <laughs> they do poo everywhere, that's true. How about you bring your daughter Anne? Oh, someone is, is looking like there. Like that. Bring your daughter in and, and make her watch these, these, these pictures. Oh. Mom. Yes. Do you have any idea what this might be? Um. It is a photograph album. <laughs> They're even group portraits. <gasps> and children. Twins. Twins. Grief over the death of a loved one can lead people to do the strangest thing. What if you burn it and now their spirit is being released into the house? Came here less and less, it being so out of the way, like... So gradually the house just... became empty. And haunted. Everybody ends up leaving this damned island. Oh, it was on account of the tuberculosis. The whole area was evacuated. Was that when Lydia went dumb? She's not dumb. I think so. She's mute. Oh, you know, my memory's a bit rusty these days, ma'am. What happened to her? Did your employers treat you well? Oh, they were always very kind to us, sir. They treated us just like family. I mean, she's a loving mother, no one says no, I'm sorry, but... So on you. She's not moving, is she dead? And because he wasn't prepared to let the Germans tell him what he had to do. 
this is like one of the most saddest parts of the, the war in general it's not only the life lost in it it's just the family that is being left behind is that a piano this woman is more courageous than i could ever be like she hears noises whimpering speaking people a and she's going to investigate she's crazy I mean, the daughter said that the father used to be a pianist. <laughs> Pack up and move! The door is closing! <laughs> Oh, it's hers. I was expecting it. Get this girl! The key to the music room. Give it to me. I checked that room myself. I guess that means stop touching my piano. What's happening? Bring the priest. I know you don't believe it. Bring the whole church. You don't believe it, do you? But they do happen. We've all heard stories of the beyond. <laughs> no, and then. Now she's gonna tell you it's my kid, it's my son, it's my grandkid or shit. Where are you off to, Mom? I'm going to the village to my father. Look on a visit. And now I need them to be blessed. Morning, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I need to know if there was a family buried here. Well, at least she believes. I don't know if it's too late. The, the, the spirits living in the house don't really seem to be vengeful towards the inhabitants. It looks... And when, when do you think we should bring all this out into the open? All in good time, Mr. Tuttle. Told you guys. Oh. Yeah, they they definitely onto something. So uncomfortable. <laughs> this is not much of a jump scare movie. It's more of a psychological one. <laughs> that sounds like a horse. Okay, it's not a horse, good. Charles? Was it Charles' his name? Charles? Oh! They said I should give you up for dead. There are a lot of things. Oh. Every night I pray for this. Making God. <laughs> he might not be dead in real life, but I guess the war definitely killed something. Looking for my home. Something strange with him. Sometimes I bleed. <laughs> yeah, we're human, we do bleed. Yes. Normal one. <laughs> I think this fog did something. He smells. I'm very pleased to meet you. She recognized him. Why did you take so long? Have you been good to your mother? Very good. We study every day for our first communion. Daddy, did you kill anyone? <laughs> She's putting uh, very strange questions. This is. Darling, we've prepared lunch for you. Are you coming down or would you prefer the. You said you'd seen a lot of dead men. Shh. Now, I don't know if she recognized him there when he first entered or she was just upset that her plans might be a little bit deranged. Your father, for example, fought for England on this night of the goodies. 
You're much better off at home with your mummy and your daddy who love you very, very much. And the intruders. Can I say something? No! Why not? Because... because you can't! Look. You cannot tell a kid they cannot say something and then you ask them to tell you the truth. Right, you go to your room. Go to your room, there's no dessert for you today. That's a tantum, if I've ever seen one. Awful face you've got when you cry. I don't care! There, there. <laughs> Sooner or later, she'll see. And everything would be different. How? They're gonna possess you. Big surprises. They're gonna take your bodies. Or something. Do you think her husband suspects anything? I don't think he even knows where he is. Mommy made this veil especially for you. I need to shorten the sleeves a little. I think this is in like Catholic religion. Let's be your first communion. First, so first communion and stuff. We don't do, do, do these right. things in Orthodox religion. We just get baptized once and that's it. Monsieur, would you like to dance? I hurt myself so many times in this desk by getting scared, so now I'm just staying like this. <laughs> Who is the crazy person that put a child in a veil? Like really now? What 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 kind of like messed up imagination you must have? For me it's already like bad enough that you have kids in horror movies. Like put them in, in, in veils. And you need to take the dress off now. But it's clean. It makes no difference. Why can't you ever do as you're told? What's the matter? What have you done with my daughter? Are you mad? I am your daughter. <gasps> you're, not, you're not my daughter! <laughs> Mom, I heard shouts. She wants to kill me. You're wicked. You're wicked, wicked. wicked. That's fine. I left her with her father. She insisted on speaking with him. God help me, what's the matter with me? I don't know what's the matter with me. You must get more rest. Do not take the pills. Do not. She's been feeding you these pills for days now. Do not take them. What do you mean by that? What do you mean you know what has to be done? Ma'am, I was just suggesting... There's nothing to suggest. She's suggesting uh, the, the others take your kids. I have no idea what has to be done. Bodies. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's that's what's happening here. What are these? It's for your migraine, ma'am. The ones you always take. You know what I realize, guys? In action movies, it's always like the 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 father, the man, the hero in general, right? But I feel like in horror movie in general, is the mom, the mother that that I don't know, kind of like goes a little bit more protective, more crazy. Like for example, in this one in hereditary as well in in the conjuring even anyone has any theory about that and told me everything well he talks i wish i had an explanation but i haven't first i thought there was someone else in the house even thought that there were ghosts i'm not talking about the ghosts i'm talking about what happened that day what day what happened that day which day i don't know what you're talking about tell me it's not true the day she went mad? The servants had left during the night. They had the courage to tell me to my face. She went mad like she did that day. The children. Why is this recorded no, so low? Oh, dear Jesus. They know I'd never hurt them. I'd, I'd die first. I just came back to say goodbye to my wife and children. Now I must go. Or to the front. Again? You're not going, do you hear me? You left us once already, you can't go! Why? Why did you have to go to that stupid war that had nothing to do with us? Why couldn't you have stayed here like the others did? The others surrendered. We all surrendered! The whole island was occupied! What? 
What did you expect? What were you trying to prove by going to war? Your place was here with us, but not for you. That's why you left. Well, maybe he doesn't want to leave just yet. I think this is my second Nicole Kidman movie that I've that I ever watch. The first one was uh, The Killing of a Sacred Deer. She was great in that one as well. I think her acting is good in this one too. She has like a, the, the, the face and the mannerism of an actress that could play in a, in a crazy, mo crazy, crazy movies like this. Okay. Ah! And now this fucking movie is blasting in my ears. I don't know how they record it like this. Oh my God. Someone ripped out the curtains. Everywhere. Well, that's a that's one way to get rid of the kids. Go to the basement, no? Okay, that's a good idea. You're right. I want my daddy. What if the kids never had anything? Daddy's gone. It's not true. Oh, I'm going to the curtains. <laughs> noticed ma'am there's no need for you to raise your voice did you know that someone has taken all the curtains oh my god the curtains they're just gonna act like why should anyone want to take all the curtains i already told you the children are photosensitive the light will kill them in her legs and back then one fine day and when you have finished helping me hang them you will leave this house and what about <gasps> the master ma'am what has he got to say about all this? Shoot them, girl. I want your keys now. Shoot them. Give me the keys. Give them to me. <laughs> uh oh. And now get out of here. You know something, Mr. Tuttle? We'd better go and uncover the gravestones. I don't know if these symbols on the doors means anything, but they are all very perfectly put there. I told you she's gone mad. Liar. She's gone mad. Why liar? She's gone mad. She's liar. gone mad. She's gone mad. Liar. If I hang on to the pipe, I can climb down to the ground. It's very easy. This girl is a menace. Imagine having a daughter like this. She will just drive you insane. Oh, she's still a child. Imagine this as a teen. <laughs> Good luck. Wait. That's the attic where the woman lived. Lost. We still haven't left the garden yet, silly. I'm scared. You shouldn't have come then. Say something. What shall I say? A story. I don't know. <laughs> Anything. Let's see. My name's Anne and I'm walking. What's that over there? I think they're graves. Let's go investigate. Let's Why go not? see some graves. What if a ghost jumps out? No, those are zombies. Ghosts, only skeletons. <laughs> the ones that jump out are the are the zombie ones. There's something written here. Let's go. Wait. December 1891 <gasps> Must be 
be strong now, children. Empty milk. Please don't tell mommy we run away. That's not your problem. Why? They're dead. What? Run. Come here. Turn off. Why aren't they wearing sheets and clanking chains? Run, kid. Come here. Children. I mean, what do you want to do with the gun? Run. Don't move. I told you to bring the salt. Tuberculosis finished us off. Go away. So they cannot be shot, but they cannot enter the house as well. They like usually goes just, you know, I've been trying to make you understand. Pass through things. Understand what? About the house. About the new situation. What situation? We must all learn to live together. The living and the dead. <gasps> leave us in peace. Leave us in peace. And suppose we do leave you. Do you think they will? Waiting for you. No! Yes. So there are two types of ghosts in this house. Like this Victor and the pianist. No, no. Stop breathing. It's not him. Stop breathing. Intruders have found them. There's nothing we can do now. You'll have to go upstairs and talk to them. Talk. So what are, what if these three actually mean good and they want to help you? I mean, don't get me wrong. If there is a, a issue with ghosts and you have other ghosts that want to help you against the other ghosts. There is a saying, the enemy of the enemy is my friend. What happened? Don't tell her. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. I tell her to leave us in peace. Mommy! Mommy. Why are you crying, children? What happened in this room? What did your mother do to you? Something about a pillow. Holy shit. How she killed you? With a pillow. She didn't kill us. Children, if you're dead, why do you remain in this house? We're not dead. <gasps> dead. We're not dead. We're not dead. We're not dead. Well, this was a nice turn of events. Actually, just a bit dizzy. That's what the girl said. Just a bit dizzy, they that's all. Made contact. So far, we have handled this matter your way. But now you listen to me. Is this Ned Stark's wife? This house any longer. It is quite clear that these beings do not want us to live here. Once again, thank you so much. That's such a nice turn of events. I love that. When she went and kissed her? Oh my god, now I'm looking at the whole movie differently. I got the rifle. I put it to my forehead. And I pulled the trigger. Nothing. I feel like this is something like the sixth sense, right? Man! Then I heard your laughter in the bedroom. It's basically three planes in one movie. That was great. It makes me want to rewatch the movie from a different perspective now, actually. What does all this mean? Shall I make us a nice cup of tea now? Will we ever see him again? If we're dead, there's limbo. I don't know if there even is a limbo. I'm not wiser than you are. Maybe you are in limbo right now. You say it with me. This house is ours. So I guess the whole house is uh, haunted. It's not like a spirit on... The piano or something. Look, he doesn't hurt anymore. Poor next family. You dodged the bullet. It's better that you've gone. Trust. You can find other houses. 
I interpreted maybe like 90% of the whole movie wrong. <laughs> I actually liked it. I think it was a, was a good movie. It was an unexpected movie. I mean, there was not a lot of jump scare, which I'm super freaking grateful of. I love the three-way plan. You know, like the old old goes, the present with, with Grace and, the, and Nicholas. And then basically the actual present with uh, Victor and the, and the family. It was very 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 interesting i mean i i couldn't I, I couldn't tell and the clues were there but i, I could i couldn't see it i was so focused on it and i couldn't see it the only time i think i don't even know if i i spoke it out loud or i was just thinking it but do you remember when when grace went and kissed Anne and she was like sleeping and i i thought i don't know if i said it out loud that she looks dead i don't i don't know if i said it out loud but i definitely was thinking uh, thinking it um <laughs> i liked it actually okay considering but I, I wouldn't say it's a scary movie really i wouldn't i wouldn't categorize it as horror really i mean it is it is about the death and spirits and ghosts and everything that happens right but not in a way that i would say like slasher or uh, jump scary or anything like this I would pull it, put it maybe like in a more psychological category, but I, I actually enjoyed it. 4.5 in that category. You know, a movie from the perspective of ghosts that don't know they are ghosts and they're managing with ghosts. We like that. I like the whole uh, old deal. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction as well. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Much appreciated, of course, as always. If you want to see the full length reaction, I do have a Patreon. You can definitely check it there. Happy Halloween if this is posted on Halloween. I don't know yet which weekend it's gonna be. But yeah, thank you again for all of the support you guys are showing. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.